Thank you very much and good morning, everyone. I am proud to represent the southwest corner of Long Island that just borders New York City. And over the last couple of weeks here on Capitol Hill, much of the conversation and the rhetoric has been focused around the fact that Republicans can't seem to agree. But you're mistaken, we do agree. We agree that we need to rein in reckless spending from Joe Biden's administration. We agree that there is nothing more important right now than securing our southern border. If you want to see people who can't get along, focus your attention on what now has become a circular firing squad of Democrats. Just in my home state of New York, you have Mayor Adams, you have Governor Hochul, you have Secretary Mayorkas, you have President Biden, and our so-called border czar, Kamala Harris, sitting around a circle, firing shots at one another, because they have no idea how to make this disaster better. Mayor Adams, who I will tell you there's few things that we agree on, but I do agree with him on one. This issue, the fact that our borders are wide open, could dis destroy one of the greatest cities in America, New York City. People have actually said that the lights are dimming on Broadway because of the disaster that's been created. And what's the response? Well, a year ago, when everyone was saying, the people behind me were saying, that eventually every state would become a border state, we were coined as fear mongers. But now, you look at cities throughout this country, and they have been taken over by migrants. Over 100,000 migrants have came into New York City since spring of 2022. And Governor Hochul and Mayor Adams, throughout their campaigns, were there with open arms. We are a sanctuary city. We welcome everyone to the land of milk and honey. Well now, Mayor Adams clearly had no plan in place. There's people on street corners. He's now set up shop in vacant warehouses at JFK Airport. Does anyone legitimately think that people come into this country for, the be for a better way of life, for the American dream, to live in a vacant warehouse at JFK Airport? The answer is no. That's not the American dream, and it's a failure of democratic policies. Now, we have the governor asking the president and his, his administration, which we are confident he is going to agree to, to allow migrants to live in our national parks. One of them being Floyd Bennett Field in Brooklyn. I had a great career in the NYPD. And some of my brothers and sisters who took the oath to protect and serve the Constitution, took the oath to stand that line between good and evil, that took the oath to put their life on the line every day to defend hardworking New York City neighbors, they call Floyd Bennett Field their office. SCUBA, aviation, special operations, and other members of the NYPD now have to share their office with illegal migrants. It is estimated that in 2023, the city of New York will spend close to four and a half billion dollars with a B just on migrants. In 2024, estimates that could be up to eight billion. Chairman Green held a hearing the other day about the financial burden that migrants are causing on the United States of America. There were members of our committee that sat on that dais whose state's budget don't equal the amount of money that New York City is going to spend on migrants over the next couple of years. And the answer to that, Mayor Adams wants to cut city budgets by 15% over the next nine months. The NYPD, the FDNY, emergency management, sanitation, 
you name it, they are getting cut 15%. And those are the agencies that are fighting each and every day to handle the migrant crisis. This has affected our schools. It's affected local businesses. Just yesterday, they announced that there's over 1,000 CVSs closing. It has to do with people walking in and walking out. We're dealing with it in New York City. It's affected every industry. And today, we are going to take a stance. And when Americans have asked, people back in New York have asked, well, what is Republicans doing about it? Like the chairman said, like the speaker said, we passed the most comprehensive border bill, the Secure the Border Act, to invest money in infrastructure and technology, to hire more Border Patrol agents. And what have the Democrats done? Zero. So today, we are going to vote. And I ask my colleagues, this is not about standing behind an individual. It's about standing up for America. Today is about moving America forward. The people that sent us here to govern, today we are going to govern. And I hope many of my colleagues will join in continuing to make sure that our government remains open, and most importantly, securing our border for generations to come. Mr. Speaker, thank you very much.